And Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson says 95 percent of ballots mailed or dropped off in Detroit have been recorded, meaning Michigan could be on track to have some results by midnight tonight. Joining us now, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. All right, 95 percent, huge number. Midnight tonight would be pretty early, all things uh, <laughs> considered, uh, to find out what Michigan, where Michigan might be going. Walk us through what you're expecting tonight. Walk us through what's already been done. Well, thanks for having me. And as your correspondent really uh, brilliantly laid out, everything you're seeing in Grand Rapids is happening all across the state today with uh, absentee county boards processing and tabulating the 2.1 mil 2 million ballots that were voted from home and returned already. We know a number are still outstanding. A, a couple hundred thousand may come in later today. So we're tracking all of that as well because it will take time to process and tabulate those. But we are well ahead of where we were at this point in 2020 when we had results on midday Wednesday. And so we're hopeful we'll get results even sooner this time. I know that the eyes of the nation are on us and, and a handful of other states. My son asked me this morning, when are we going to know? Every Everyone wants to know, uh, but and so we appreciate that, and our clerks are doing their best to accurately, securely, and efficiently tabulate all the ballot votes. Secretary, why do you think it's going to be so much faster this time around? Because we've been telling people um, for weeks now, a long time, that that they're they got to have patience. We could not get the results for a few days. After all, in 2020, we got the results on Saturday for the entire election. Do you believe this election is like 2020, or do you believe this election is more like 2016 in terms of the speed? with which the tabulation is done. It's certainly closer to 2020 in the fact that the rules in place now are more aligned with 2020 with more citizens voting before Election Day. And that means in states like Pennsylvania, where they don't start processing and tabulating those ballots until today, that it does take longer to get through every ballot and make sure you've got time to do that. So we do need to be patient. The other factor is the closeness of the race. And if races are particularly close, you have overseas or military ballots that still aren't back yet, but can be counted if they're postmarked by election day, those might take some time to get in and pre-process and tabulate, and that can delay results even further. So the closeness of the race depends who will affect it as well, but we'll have an update for everyone at 9 Eastern tonight in terms of how many outstanding ballots we see, and you'll start to see early voting results, ballots voted today coming through, as well as some of those absentee ballots that were tabulated already, all released around uh, just after the polls close uh, at 8 p.m. tonight, and then, of course, 9 p.m. for our four counties at Central Time. Madam Secretary, we uh, heard from Donald Trump earlier today. He doesn't understand why we can't get results faster, why we can't get results tonight. I know you have, or I've read you have 100 people from your office. They're scattered across the state kind of on standby to respond to any problems, de-escalate situations if they occur. What have you heard so far at polling places, and what are you prepared for? Well, the number one thing we've seen across the state today is high turnout and exuberance at the polls. Every precinct I visited in three counties in southeast Michigan really showed a lot of, there are people dancing outside of precincts, having so much fun celebrating and cheering every time a first time voter showed up, people bringing their kids to the polls. So it's a day of celebration as it should be. Even if folks are on both sides, either side of the aisle, they still respect the process and respect each other. That's been a great thing to see. We've had a handful of isolated incidents that have erupted, nothing that has gotten out of hand or is even abnormal for something of this magnitude. And I've been grateful for law enforcement and everyone who stepped in to de-escalate any situations and ensure everyone can vote. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, I know it's going to be a long night and maybe a couple of days after for you. We thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Good luck. Sure. Always a pleasure. Happy Election Day. Thank you.